In this video, we'll be creating the chord patch we just heard in the intro. So let's go ahead and load up an instance of Subtractive. Now when creating a patch, it's nice to start with a blank canvas. And we can achieve this by loading the default instrument patch. Simply click on the folder icon, navigate to default, and select default instrument. This sets all parameters to zero and enables only oscillator one. I'm going to start by tweaking some of the common settings, first by enabling mono mode. This ensures only one key will sound at a time, which is important as we're creating a chord based patch. I'm going to raise the unison count to four and raise both the detune and spread rotaries. Finally, I'm going to lower the unison transpose down a seventh for both left and right. The basis of our chord can now be heard. Back to oscillator one, and I'm going to set this as a pulse type. I'm also going to lower it an octave as this will form the basis of the low end. I'm gonna tweak the pulse width. And by increasing LFO two, we can increase the sync pitch mod. I'm going to switch oscillator one off as we move through the subsequent oscillators so we can hear what we're doing. Both oscillators two and three are set to saw types. I'm going to detune these by lowering oscillator two a little and raising oscillator three a little. Again, you can hear that just thickening up the sound. On oscillator three, I'm gonna raise the pitch three semitones. Let's bring oscillator one back in. Moving on to oscillator four, I'm going to select the spinal saw type. I'm going to increase the cluster and raise the detune level. I'm now going to raise oscillator four, seven semitones. Let's bring back the other oscillators. Now a key part of this patch's character is its rhythmic quality, and this is achieved by using LFO4 to modulate the amp section. I'm going to set LFO4 to four steps up. Increase the phase to 360, the symmetry to 45, set it to clock, mono mode, and set the clock to quarter notes. Now we're not gonna hear anything until we raise the LFO4 rotary in the amp section. Okay, now we've got that pulsing effect, I'm going to move on to the filter and select the Salon key low pass. The cutoff mod is assigned to envelope three, so let's bring that into view and increase the attack. I'm now going to raise the envelope rotary and tweak some of these settings. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the drive section. Go easy with this, unless you're looking for a really distorted effect. I'm going to leave this set to around 3%. Next, I'm going to engage the EQ. Select low cut and filter out anything below 50 Hertz. Scoop out some of the lower mids and boost the highs. Now before we add and can hear any effects, it's important to raise the return in the amp section. I'm gonna set this to around 40% before moving on to the effects tab. Let's enable effect one. Choose compressor, raise the ratio, and bring down the threshold. I'll increase the makeup gain just a little. For effect two, I'm gonna select the delay. Bring the feedback down a little and push up the spread. And finally, I'm going to add a little plate reverb.
Once happy with a patch, simply click here to save it. I hope this video has helped to get you up and running with Subtractive and has inspired you to create your very own patches. Thanks for watching.